what should be the effort to during the period of period? 30, 40, 80, 100. So if you are using near 80 or 100, it increases the atelectasis formations. Recurrence of atelectasis is, is possible after vital capacity may know, and it lead to higher post-operative pulmonary complication. So optimal FIO2 is 30 to 40 in a perioperative period, which improves the oxygenation, cases, uh, improve oxygenation if impaired with the PEEP, reduces the absorption of atelectasis, and no recurrence of atelectasis once you open the atelectatic area. So to be more clear, 30 to 40 is optimal, and if you want to use higher FIO2, it should be with recruitment and PIP. So lower limit of FIO2 is 30, optimal is 30 to 40, do not, do not use higher. Some extubation. Always extubate a patient with a sustained pressure of 10, and at the time of extubation, raise up to the 20. Extubate after recruitment. So always recruit the lung before extubation. But keep in mind that you can't recruit the lung in a spontaneously breathing patient. So if you want to recruit the lung before extubation, it should be done in a paralyzed patient. Recruit the lung in a paralyzed patient. Then apply CPAP. Then reverse the patient. Allow spontaneous breathing establish proper spontaneous breathing and then extubate the patient with the sustained pressure of CPAP. Always provide adequate analgesia and if possible, specifically in obese patient, HFNC, but we should not be talking about the HFNC in COVID pandemic situation. So what should be your strategy? Prime your closed circuit, pre-oxygenate, with the CPAP in header positions, continue CPAP throughout your perioperative wear, estimate over the sustained pressure. If your saturation is going down or if there is a sign of atelectasis, recruit the lung in between. You can use any type of ventilatory mode, vital uh, pressure control or volume control. Use low tidal volume with high beam. Keep equal issue ventilation in OBS. If normal issue ventilation in thin limb pressure, use low FIO2. Keep your airway pressure less, peak airway pressure less than 13. And extubate after recruiting, recruiting the lung with a sustained pressure of 10 to 20. Now, other most of the people are having a habit of suctioning during that endotical suctioning during the extubation. Do not do it. If you are doing endotical suction. Uh, collapse, you are creating atelectasis uh, and then transferring the patient to a recovery room or ICU with the atelectatic area. If you want to suck, do endotical suctioning, do thorough endotical suctioning in paralyzed patient. After suctioning, recruit the lung and it should be recruitment should be followed by the PIP and estimate the patient with sustained pressure. HFNC, NIV, CPAP, and proper analysis. You should use, but considering pandemic of COVID-19, as far as possible, try to avoid NIV, CPAP, HFNC. Use scavenging system in OR, increase air exchanges in OR, and use customized technique of pre-oxygenation, intubation, and extubation.